Today we are exploring, we are trying this peculiar little tool called Oboe Feet. Welcome back to my channel, welcome back to a new video. Let's just get started because we have a lot to talk about. This little thing, it, it makes a difference, I'm gonna tell you. But before, before, let's, uh, spoiler alert. Before we start, I just wanted to say that I was not paid to say good things about it. My review, presentation, first impressions, let's call it, because I had it for one week only. But for one week, I already have a lot uh, of good impressions. To share my opinion will be very honest and I also would really like to thank Lucas for sending me this one and the other one here I will explain in a minute uh, for me to try and share my thoughts. Uh, I'm really happy that I got to try these because they really make a difference and we're gonna discuss that in a minute. But first let's start with what is it, uh, why is it necessary and just get back a little bit in history because uh, in my own journey um, I've always wondered how can we because on the oboe we use the lips to hold the reed and this is always the muscle that gets tired the fastest and I always wondered how can I train that better and always believe that practicing is um, always going to be the best and I still believe that but is there something that can help us? And years ago, I remember when I was a student, I was preparing for uh, one hour, one hour and a half recitals. I wanted to find a way to train the muscles and not, not get tired so fast. Uh, especially, you know, when you're changing reads, when you are trying uh, new reads, sometimes it gets a little bit heavy on the lip and I always, was looking for a lighter way to play, an easier way to play without getting my lips too tired. And I remember this too years ago when I studied, it sounded like it was a very long time ago, but it actually wasn't, but I studied in Germany, in Trossingen, and uh, Ria Kuyama, who plays the bassoon, she um, gave me this little tool that was made in Japan that was supposed to strengthen your muscles so you have a nicer smile uh, and she said it works really well for her and I decided to try it out it was really really nice and easy you, ha you just had to hold it in your lips I unfortunately don't have it anymore uh, you just have to hold it and it strengthened your muscles your side muscles here because for us the always the problem is that uh, the reed is very small so the tension mainly is here in the middle Later on I discovered uh, the thing with the coffee sticks which is also a very good technique and I thought this maybe is something in that direction of thinking but actually this thing does a lot more than only that um, and uh, I have actually discovered so many benefits on the website that I'm going to link in the description you can see all the benefits and uh, all the information about the product and how to use it. I'm going to share some with you, but I encourage you to take a look if you want, if you're curious. I have two here. The, there is a student model. There is a regional model, so-called, which is almost the same as the student one. Apparently, the, the difference is only that the original one is made by a better material, although I have to say the student one looks very well made 
and uh, I almost don't really see a big difference and now here I have the plus model which is slightly thicker I've been using mostly this one the difference is not big and actually the first impression is that oh there's not so much difference but after playing for longer time you will, might find that uh, you get tired faster with the plus one not in a bad way because it's very interesting how this activates your side muscles and allows you to use the whole muscle around the reed and not only the middle and it's something that starts to result in things you don't want in your playing like biting like controlling uh, with the with the lips too much um, and uh, this results in uneven uh, scale it results in uh, sharper intonation and this thing eliminates all of that uh, honestly this puts you it makes it almost a little bit too comfortable because it, it balances or it shows you where the reed should be and the first benefit I would say is that it relaxes the middle more by activating these muscles here I, I guess it's only one muscle but I, you know what I'm saying by activating the sides you are relaxing more so you're allowing the reed to vibrate free, freely also it doesn't allow you which is a good thing to control too much with the lip so the beginning of the notes or the ending of the notes is something I noticed I have to work more with the air which leads me to the next point that using this somehow activates more the support and this is a very 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 good thing because I believe with the playing the oboe you have to control everything with the support with the strongest muscle the diaphragm um, and this allows that and going especially to the higher register there is a natural desire instinct for us to bite and with this you don't bite but you feel that you need a little bit more air thus you are actually practicing more the abdominal muscles which is a great 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 thing I really like that and the other benefit that I found is that this tool helps you to find the optimal angle of playing and that's uh, also a great thing because sometimes I move around uh, when you get tired you slightly maybe start to go up and that's something that we don't want we want to have a consistent angle and this helps us in playing anything but if you play a scale it will show exactly where the notes are and you're not going to be looking around. I really like that because uh, sometimes you might think mm, this note is too sharp or that's too low but uh, with this it shows you no it's actually the notes are there exactly they have their positions and you only need to control that with the air. That's all, something that I always wanted to have an even scale. The lower register is also very interesting because also it shows you how to start the notes um, it's been really eye-opening for me I've been using it for one week every day and today I played I decided to play without it and I, I realized how much it actually improves I guess my question would be uh, finding the balance between uh, how much to use it and how much to not use it something that I will be experimenting as well I find the student one and that's going to be also for original to be a little bit more comfortable for playing longer you have a little bit better contact with the reed which uh, I like uh, also helps with articulation and the intonation generally I find uh, it felt a little bit lower in the beginning but this was showing me that I, I need more air and that's all really really good so how to use that um, you put the reed Normally, if your reed, if your cork of the staple um, fits well the oboe, it should fit this hole as well. So there's nothing to worry. If it's too loose, for your oboe it's probably going to be too loose here. Ideally, it should be fitting well, uh, going through nicely. Another thing that it's showing is how straight is your reed, which is, is great. Taking it off, always with the reed together and you take the reed 
upwards from the oboe feet. Never try to get the oboe feet out. I think that's common sense because the size of the reed uh, is not going to go through the hole. So be careful with that, but I, that's pretty, it's all pretty easy. Uh, and then after that, you wash it with warm water and you're ready to go. Time for some final thoughts. What are my thoughts on the oboe feet? I can highly recommend it. My experience has been really good. Uh, bear in mind, it's only one week. So I will be keeping you posted. Do you absolutely need it? Uh, I don't think you absolutely need it. It's not something that uh, is absolutely necessary, but if you're curious about improving your technique on the oboe, I think it's a great tool. And with that, I'm going to leave you with a little demonstration. And uh, thank you again for watching. And thank you, Lucas, for uh, sending me the oboe fit and for creating such a wonderful product. And I'll see you uh, very soon.